some ale. I'm one of those girls who likes a beer. This is Old Speckled Hen. Really nice, pleasantly surprised. Welcome. In today's video, I'd love us to get into my October skin highlights. I have been doing this for, for the past few months and I found that it's a better way for me to do skincare reviews on my channel. On a monthly basis, I talk about the products that have stood out to me. I offer some reviews, my thoughts, my experience. And hopefully with that, you can do a bit of happy shopping. Hello, my name is Ijama. I'm a beauty lover, a skincare influencer, a woman of a certain age, and a pro makeup artist. And I feel like all those things give me an authority to do what I'm doing on my channel. So, October, it's not been that crazy. I don't have much to mention. The skincare has been skin caring. <laughs> I haven't introduced too much into my skincare. I've been using lots of staples. And yeah, let's just get into it. Let's start with the faves. Things that are staples that I've been using for at least the past year, two years. And every time I bring them back into rotation, I'm pleasantly surprised. Let's start with a face mask. This is the Bumi Naturals face mask. This is, this is one of my favorite masks. I absolutely love this mask. Gentle, nourishing, and it does a quality clean on the skin. The skin just always feels packed up after I use it. I opened it maybe beginning of this month and I was like, you know what? I, I get why I love you. I really, really love this thing. This has green clay, maca, hemp, matcha, and aloe. It's a powder mask, so you have to mix it with something. My favorite ways to mix it is with aloe and honey. Just, just a stunner. I don't know what more else to say. It is just a gorgeous mask. The skin is soothed, there's antioxidants gently cleanse from the green clay there's nothing more i can say apart from i love this and i definitely recommend it for a plethora of skin types next up is one of my favorite toners hands down and i have tried so many i keep saying that <laughs> i really am the queen of toners this is the nankin skincare purifying face toner this is gorgeous. This is a well done, elegant, really does the job kind of toner. It refreshes the skin, it plumps it up, it hydrates it, it moisturizes it. There's some antioxidants in it. It just ticks so many boxes. It has such a beautiful texture. I feel like if you didn't have a serum in your skincare routine and you used this, and put in a few layers into your skin then came in with moisturizer you're good to go like if you are having a skincare routine where you are not dealing with any issues like you didn't have to bring in any actives she's wonderful she has some beautiful ingredients there's witch hazel in this there's glycerin there's aloe there's sodium hyaluronic there's vitamin e there's some seaweed in it such a gorgeous product i absolutely love this this is my i've lost count how many bottles of this i've gone through and i've got backups several of them i haven't used this for about i would say maybe two months i'm always trying out a new toner i'm always testing out different things and when i brought this back into my routine i was like hello darling i missed you how are you doing <laughs> Beautiful toner, recommend for all skin types. Definitely worth a try. Let's do Beauty Pie. I have two products from Beauty Pie. I already mentioned this in... What video did I do this? A chatty video. What was it? Embrace Every Moment? I'll link it up above. I really had fun doing that video. I did a first impression of this cleansing balm. A very beautiful thing. For cleansing balm, it's right up here. I'm, especially for me, I don't like... I don't want to say I don't like, I don't gravitate towards cleansing balms that have emulsifiers. I prefer cleansing balms that are just oils and butters. But this, this is up here. This is, this is some really good stuff. There's humectants in this, lots of antioxidants, the, the baobab oil, the rice oil. It's, it's, it really feels beautiful on the skin. Breaks down makeup well. There's a, it just leaves the skin really nourished, really nice. I've been enjoying this in the mornings. What I do is I massage this onto my face. I jump into the shower. I let this balm 
do its magic as I wash the rest of my body. Then before I get out of the shower, I rinse my face. This has been such a beautiful thing to use in the morning. It's just like very comforting, very comforting. Also because it has this heating vibe, it warms up on your skin. So it's very spa-like. I approve. I definitely recommend everyone try it. If you do have a Beauty Pie subscription, there is a reason this is one of their best sellers. It is a gorgeous product. Next up is the Fruity Zyme AHA Resurfacing 5 Minute Facial from Beauty Pie. Don't play with this baby. This is strong. This will come for you. This is a very strong product. It does a job, it does it well, but it's not for the reckless. This does say five minutes and it, they do mean that five minutes. I do like testing out my products and I left this on my skin longer than five minutes. In fact, I left it for an hour. Shh, 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 shh. Let's not talk about it. And my skin was not amused. Very strong product. I mean, the next morning I woke up with incredibly glowy skin, but I could tell that my skin was like, did you, did you really have to do that? Really? <laughs> now this has all the chemical exfoliants. It has AHAs, it has glycolic acid, it has salicylic acid, and it also has scrub particles in the form of bamboo and quartz powder. So you do also get a physical exfoliation from this. Very strong product. I wish it was more nourishing. To the skin i wish it had a bit more oils and butters and you know things like that so just to to, to also nourish the skin while the skin is being exfoliated but i'm not mad would i repurchase this i don't think so but i am going to enjoy it while i use it it's not my style of of chemical exfoliants i like to do my chemical exfoliants gently while nourishing and soothing the skin this doesn't nourish and soothe the skin it just deeply exfoliates and there's nothing wrong with that this is the kind of mask that is perfect for a girl who likes to do her masks once a week this is not for me because i like to mask every day and i like to leave my masks on my skin for up to an hour so this doesn't really fit my style i can work it into my routine but it doesn't really fit my style so it's not bad did the job glowy skin but don't disrespect her because she's strong she is strong next up is the discovery set from pamoja skincare i featured this in my facial massage video i featured particularly the cleansing balm i will link it up above very very amused i can't really give a full review of this situation because i'm still in the process of using them but why they're in this video is because i'm using them I'm focusing my energies on them for the last two weeks on my Instagram stories. So if you follow me there, then you can get the tea about these. So far, really, really good. Really, really good. The cleansing balm is gorgeous. And it's the thing that made me really want to find out what Pamoja was all about. The balm just looks gorgeous. The balm really has some beautiful ingredients in it. There's mango butter, there's murumuru, there's moringa, there's safflower very gorgeous oil with some scent as well there's rosemary there's geranium in it beautiful thing but what actually is standing out to me so far is the face cream oh the face cream i didn't expect that it took me out gorgeous thing how i would describe the face cream is like how would i say it she has a relaxed elegance like she's not trying to impress you because she knows she's good it's one of those face creams that you don't need to do too much before you come with it on your skin. Like if you did my little trick of layering with an amazing toner, doing like two, three layers of a gorgeous toner and then finished off with the face cream, the skin is going to be happy. There's some marula oil in this, glycerin, sodium hyaluronate, squalene as well. Um, some red raspberry seed a really gorgeous cream i really didn't expect to love it that much and currently i'm getting into the multi-purpose face oil so i don't have much to say about that oil but if you follow me on instagram i will probably do a brand spotlight post 
on these i don't have enough to do a dedicated review on youtube and i'm still not sure whether i would buy a full size of this i will update you possibly i know when i'll update you i'll i'll, I'll keep that to myself for now last but certainly not least this is the iliyun ceramide atto concentrate cream now this is a cult classic especially to people who love k-beauty how the best way to describe this cream is it's a workhorse it's an emollient that's it it's just a hug on the skin it just traps everything that you've put on before you put this cream on and it does the job well it does have ceramides in it as well but i think the strength of this cream is that it's very emollient it's just it's a sealant everything is going to be sealed in the price is right for this the size is right it feels gorgeous it looks good underneath makeup i love the size have i mentioned that it's I, i'm amused i now see why people love this so much and this particular line has a few more other products that people don't talk about but i would like to check out they have a body care line which i have a feeling will kill me softly because my body skin is dry i think next time i will try that but if you're a dry skin girl because that's where i found this out from i've noticed most of the people who love this are dry skin people they're dehydrated people but i like to also treat my skin like it's dry because that's like my anti-aging anti-aging kind of shtick like you know pile it on <laughs> so i had to give it a try and it's not bad it's not bad um i'm amused i like what it's doing for my skin considering i played some expensive games with a five minute facial this has been really nice to just make sure that i seal in as much hydration into the skin because hmm, i don't think i've broken my moisture barrier but my skin is like you wanna try me you wanna try me <laughs> and that's that that's my october skincare highlights short and sweet there was not much to say because i am focusing on the mini experience from pomoja skincare and yeah i didn't i didn't want to introduce too many new goodies because i wanted to see what that mini experience was going to do for me let me know what you've been enjoying in the month of october is there something i just should go and buy <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. I hope you find value in this video so that you can do a bit of happy shopping. My name is Ijoma and I'll see you soon.